In this video, we're going to explore how you can readjust your legend for Chart.js. So let me show you here an ex example, or let me tell you this situation. Right now we have a viewer question and they were asking how about bottom right? And they were referring to one of my videos. And in my video, they're asking how to place the legend or how to place a legend to the bottom right. So basically this legend here that we have, we want to reposition them to the bottom and then we want to push it to the right side. So how can we do this? Well, let me show you. First of all, uh, this is our chart here right now that we have and you can see your milk tea sales. And if you're very interested in Chart.js and you want to learn more about it, check out my Udemy course about Chart.js. All right. So once we have this, now uh, let's look here first, which part do we need? Well, let's look here up. We have here on our chartjs.org website, we can find here the configurations for the legend. And sadly enough, something it's very complicated to understand this. I do not know why, but I'm here to help you out. So we want to reposition it. So how will we reposition this? Well, first of all, we need to activate the legend options. So we're going to use this namespace here. And in here, we'll be adding the position of the legend. And this position here is a string type. That's why there's like a single quotation between here. And this is the default setting is top. And what we really want is to the bottom. So let's click here on more positions of the legend to explore what it is. So we have here these positions. You can see a top, left, bottom, right. So I think you probably say, uh, guess what we need to do. Well, let's start with that. All right, let's make this working right away. So this is our code here on our HTML file. And then in here in the options, we're going to add up the other item, which is the namespace for legend. To do this, you can see here we have the scales and comma. You can put in here legend. If you don't have scales, no problem. Then you probably have only like this, like options only. And if you have that, then basically here you just put in legend. No need for a comma because this here indicates an array. So basically it's a value in a value which contains a value within itself. All right. So let's put this back. And we say here legend. Of, um, column curly braces and between here we're going to reposition it and this is the command we need to use we need to name command for the command or the name position and the default value or the sorry the, the value will be bottom all right so we say here position column and then uh, same quotations yeah because this is a, it's a string value and let me say bottom all right save this go back here let's go back there and refresh once we refresh you can see now the milk tea sales that we have right now is or the legend is at the bottom that is wonderful however we're not done yet we want to push it to the right so we're going to push these text all to the right so to do this we have to put in your comma and then we have to look for the second command and that is let's look here that's the alignment co command or align command which is by default center let's click on this once you see this you can see your center and an end and what we want to do is to the right is to the end is the ending and the reason why they use this and not right is if if there's like a reversion in text writing it's uh, whether the rtl so from uh, uh, right to left, basically. So that's why they called end. This is quite smart, and I and I'm happy that Bootstrap is uh, the new Bootstrap version five is doing this as well. All right. So that's some extra information, but that's what we need. So we need here align, and then we say end. Once we did that, save this, go back to our chart, refresh, and now you can see we have repositioned our legend to the right and this is basically how you can move the item to the bottom right if you like videos like this check out my udemy course which is deep on chart.js and perhaps if you have a question yourself you can put them in the comment section below and i'll make sure i'll try to get back to you with your viewers question all right 